So I wanted to show you guys that the NASDAQ market is about to break below a very specific support range that we have not traded below since we broke above it. Let me go ahead and just start sharing my screen because that sounded confusing to even me. If you look at NASDAQ on the four hour time frame, you guys could see that again, QQQ is the NASDAQ one for one ETF. And ever since we broke above the moving average, which is this little green line, right? It's the 200 day moving average. We've been showing signs of consistent progress. And this is since November of 2023, if I'm not mistaken, we've been showing signs of higher highs and higher lows. Great, right? We've been indicating signs of an uptrend and we have pulled on back and gotten close to breaking below, but we never actually broke below. I wanted to bring this to your attention because we are very, very close to this moving average. And it's not that this time it has to break below, but for two main reasons, if you're shorting the market, be careful. It tends to find a support level here. And if you continue to hold and if it finds its support and begins to recover, you literally just, again, it's, it's common sense. You need to be aware of previous support range on different timeframes, but if we do get confirmation of this thing breaking below the moving average, then I would consider re-entering a short position, making money as the NASDAQ market pulls on back. But this also provides some insight for those that like to buy the dip. If you think that the market's going to continue to rally, then again, we are at a major support range where if you wait for confirmation or indication of a reversal that it's going to begin to recover, then great. You can choose to take a position when it makes the most sense to you. But I just thought that this was really important to talk about because it's at a critical range is what we like to talk about. Because at this point, the market can really begin to change. I want to remind you, next week we have the FOMC meeting and there's a lot of negative market sentiment because... The market kept going up because they expected the Federal Reserve to be cutting interest rates pretty soon, maybe as soon as March. But based off of recent CPI and PPI and just inflation reports, inflation is not going away. And just like uh, one of the executives, I think of JP Morgan or Morgan Stanley said, it would be, I would say, a disservice to um, begin to increase or cut interest rates because it's going to be a full circle. If we begin to cut interest rates too early and inflation is still not under control, then that just means that we're going to begin to cut interest rates. Sure, things are going to be cheaper to borrow, but then inflation is just going to go back up, right? This is why it's very important to pay attention to the different cycles that we are going through when it comes down to this market. So again, inflect, uh, critical point or critical range approaching for NASDAQ, and that should be for the S&P 500 as well. We'll see if we bounce above or we will see if we break below that moving average and continue to sell off. Other than that, I wanted to share with you guys a stock that I'm uh, looking to short. Not that it has to go according to plan, but I wanted to share the idea with you guys. Coin was bearish, at least for the past uh, two days. It's been selling off and it gapped up. Now it's become very overbought. And if it does begin to sell off, not that it has to, there's huge potential for this thing to sell off and huge range to work with. So if we're looking at current price points to pre-market lows, we have about 8%, 8 8.8%. 8, 4% to work with exactly. So, you know, even in a not so perfect role, if I open up short when it breaks below that EMA and then I cover right around the moving average, that's still a nice three to 4% move once we get that proper confirmation. So again, a lot of range to work with, but that's if we get confirmation of that sell-off. Other than that, again, we will see uh, how today ends up playing out. I'm not trying to rush into anything, uh, but I'm also not afraid to take advantage of this short opportunity. So I'll make sure that I keep you up to date if you're part of our LPP team. And that's that second link in the description down below. I also do want to remind you for St. Patrick's Day, we're offering an additional 500 bonus entries for our Corvette C8 giveaway. And you guys just have to use promo code LUCKY at checkout. And it's the fourth link in the description down below. I appreciate your time. Hope that earned your thumbs up. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.